So today, I'm gonna be turning my house into my very own restaurant. You guys are probably asking yourself these questions. Are you a chef? Have you ever even owned a restaurant before? Do you have any experience in the food industry? And for all those questions, the answer is no. I've never done any of those things before. So you may be asking yourself, why is Fulton making his own restaurant? Well, I'm gonna be honest, I don't wanna get into the backstory. Ever since I was a kid, I have always been interested in food. I've always wanted to learn how to cook and maybe even own my own restaurant. I actually used to eat so much that I got extremely fat. Yes, guys, this is a real picture of me. I love food so much, I even went to cooking school for it. And I'm also lying about all that. I'm literally just doing this because I'm bored and I have nothing else to do. But I know what a restaurant does need. Food and lots of food. So I think it's time to go make our way to the grocery store. And since we're making a restaurant, of course it needs to be a five-star restaurant. And where do you get five-star food from? You read my mind perfectly. We're here at Walmart. Once we got to Walmart, it was time to pick out the best, the most healthy, the most organic food for my customers. All right, every restaurant has plates. And I'm obviously not gonna buy a bunch of glass plates, so I need plastic plates and plastic cups. But now we need food. Yep, here we are. Perfect, perfect. Ramen noodles, they're gonna love this. As a restaurant owner, you always need a dessert menu. Everyone loves Snickers, right? Bro, come on. Is it even a restaurant if you don't have Eggo waffles? Yo, put that in the cart. And guys, my restaurant is breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Bacon, egg, and cheese. Oh yeah. Last but not least, corn dogs, 100% beef. Oh yeah. Now this is a restaurant. We are officially done with the menu. After we left Walmart, it was time for Mission Impossible. Guys, there's something I haven't been telling you. I have an arch nemesis. And that arch nemesis is Chipotle. If you didn't know, this Chipotle is about a block away from my house, aka my restaurant, and they have been stealing my customers. So I knew what I had to do. I knew I had to storm into Chipotle and start a protest and make sure everybody that goes to Chipotle comes to my restaurant. So I went in there, I gave them a piece of my mind, I still came out eating a bowl. I'm sorry, what can I say? I got hungry. But after that, when I got home, I realized I had a huge problem. Our freezer at the house doesn't work. Gosh, bro. I have ice cream. I have corn dogs. I have Eggos. Like I said, the most organic food you could possibly get for a restaurant. But the freezer is broken. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm literally about to be serving melted ice cream. Like, I can feel it. Look, it's squishy. It's melting already. Let me, let me open this, actually. All right, let's see this, bro. Oh my gosh. It's melting already. This is supposed to go on the dessert menu. But as a chef, I have to see if my product tastes good, right? So, I just gotta... Oh yeah, five star. So since the freezer's broken, in the meantime, I had to put everything in the fridge. Yes, guys, even the candle and the ramen noodles. But I ended up calling the homeowner, telling him the freezer wasn't working, and he said he's gonna send somebody over tomorrow to come fix the freezer. So hopefully everything goes according to plan. All right, perfect. So you guys can come tomorrow and fix the freezer, right? <laughs> All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, because I'm trying to turn the house into a restaurant. Oh, I'm not allowed to do that. If I do that, I'll get kicked out. Oh, trust me, no, it was a joke. I'm actually not doing that. It was it was a fake phone call. My, my phone's not even on. It, it's 1 a.m. I'm sorry. I, let me just go to bed. So I woke up the next day bright and early. I got out of my bed. I went downstairs, and I went outside to wait for them to come fix the freezer. And I waited and waited and waited. I think it's fair to say that the freezer is not getting fixed today. If you guys don't realize, this is a huge problem. The main thing a restaurant needs is good, organic, and healthy food, which is why I got corn dogs, these biscuits, and these delicious Eggo waffles. But since the the freezer's broken, the food may go bad. But guys, don't worry, we have good news. The owner of the house said he's very sorry, and then that they're 100% coming tomorrow to fix the freezer. So once the freezer's finally fixed, we put the food that's been in the fridge back in the freezer, and I'm pretty sure it restores all the nutrients and organic stuff inside of it, and the food will be back to 100%. So no worries. I'm not a health professional, so I don't know if that's 100% how it works, but, but if my customers get sick, I do not claim responsibility. After we put all the food in the fridge, even though uh, it was supposed to be in the freezer, it was time to find a chef that was gonna cook all this food and finding a chef really isn't that easy i had to go on the most secret most undercover website in the world to find this chef i'm just kidding i i went on google guys but i was scrolling on google for hours and hours until i found the perfect chef that's right guys i'm gonna be the chef all right <laughs> you really thought i was gonna buy a chef to cook corn dogs and hot pockets i don't got mr beast money but in the meantime it's time to start getting some people to make reservations to come to my restaurant i went on the phone to call some friends and family to ask them if they can come to my restaurant on the grand opening and like the amazing friends and family that I have, they all said yes. Yeah, so I'm turning my house into a restaurant, and you're my brother, so I know you're gonna show up, right? No. Wait, what? Bro, I said no, I gotta go. What the? Hey, mama. Hey. How you doing? I'm doing fine. So, I'm starting my own restaurant, and uh, I really want you to come here. No, no. No? No? No. Alright, love you. So, as my older brother, you're gonna come to my restaurant, right? 
No? No. Alright, thank you. Mini, my man, what's up? So I'm I'm turning the house into a restaurant and like you already live here, so I'm sure you're gonna show up, right? Uh no. No? Uh, Got it, he hung up on me. After I realized my friends and family weren't that amazing, I just laid down and started to cry. As you guys just saw, we both know this place is about to be packed. So it is time to create the menus. And I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, I've always wanted to make menus for food because I swear restaurants choose the weirdest names for food. Like you could get a slushy from McDonald's and the name of the slushy is like mushy, mushy, gushy. I don't know, you guys get what I'm saying, right? No? Okay, whatever. No! Guys, I literally just remembered I don't have a printer. And I just finished typing the menu items. Listen listen to this one. So for the corn dogs that I have, the name on the menu is gonna be the Gurgling Roundhouse Beef Stick. Don't lie, that sounds appetizing, right? What do you mean no? Trust me, you'll see. So now we basically have everything. We have a chef, we have the menus, and we even have delicious, organic, and healthy food. Definitely not frozen food that we have to put in the microwave. It is time to come up with a name for the restaurant. And you already know, I came up with the most creative name Name known to man. McDonald's by Fulton. So how are we feeling about the name? No, it's not copyright. It's definitely not a copy of a uh, McDonald's or anything, but I'm pretty sure I'm legally allowed to do this. It's Wig Donald's. It's it's not the same, all right? All right, so tomorrow's opening day of my famous restaurant. So it's time to focus up, all right? We need to cook the best food. We need to make sure they have an amazing experience. And we need to make sure at the end of the day, they all rate it five stars. So it's time to go to bed and I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, I lied, sorry. It's like 3 p.m., it's, it's not nice. Time. I'm not actually going to bed, so yeah. It's time for the big day. The grand opening of Wick Donald's. I woke up to the birds chirping. I got out of my bed and put on my chef costume. After that, it was time to open up the restaurant. I went outside, put up the sign, Wick Donald's made by Fulton. Now it was time for the customers to start rolling in, but that didn't happen. I waited and waited and nobody was showing up. I was starting to lose hope until my first customer finally showed up, my older brother. You have a reservation? Uh, yes. Yeah. You do? What's yeah. your name? Uh. Johnny? I'm sorry, you're not on the list, sir. Uh, check again. <laughs> what did that say? McDonald's? McDonald's? It's not copyright. Yeah, sorry, sir. <laughs> you're just not on the list. I'm sorry, you gotta go. What do you mean? Hold on. Do you even have any customers? It's really packed in there. Right now. Let me in. I have money. My money's good. Sorry, sir. You can... Let me in! Sir! Let me in! Sir! Well, after that happened, I checked the list again, and it turned out his name was actually on the list. Yeah, my neck was hurting after that one. After my older brother showed up, my younger brother showed up. Kason! I knew you'd show up. What's up, bro? I'm so hungry, bro. Oh my god. Alright, perfect, bro. perfect, bro. Alright, hold on in. Wait a second. What? Wick Donald's? Bro, just come on in. Don't worry about that. I right? best food in the best food in town. I knew you'd come to my restaurant. Then my final customer showed up, and it was kind of obvious that he was gonna show up because uh he actually lives here at the restaurant. Yeah, that's Mini Bloxia. Mini's here! What is this place? Bro, it's your house. Come on, it's my restaurant. You guys have food? Of course. Man, Food? Thanks for showing up. Hey, no, no problem, man. To your own house. Wick Donald's. Don't worry about that. Wick Donald's. <laughs> Come on, just head on that in. That sounds illegal. It's packed in there, so uh, I'll serve you in a little oh, bit. Yeah, there's a lot of people here. Once everyone was sitting down at the restaurant, it was time to start doing my job and serve them. Friends and family, thanks for coming to my restaurant. Here are the menus. This paper? Yeah, bro. Don't worry about it. All right, here we go. All right, so how, what would I like to start you guys with? You want some water? Like, what do you guys? Coffee? What do you guys want? You guys got any soda? Bro. There's not even peppers. There's no dessert. We have water. That's it. Water. Just water. I'm vegetarian. <laughs> Here, you know, I'll, I'll leave you guys be for a little bit. You know, you guys can look over the menu, and uh, I'll be back when you guys figure out what you want, okay? I have, a, I have a question. Yeah, what is it? Where's the exit? You're eating my food, bro. Come on. Support support some family members. Can we just get some water? 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 Yeah, everyone wants water. Water? Okay, we're good. Water. So I know they asked for water, but instead of water, I decided I was going to give them my special drink. And I don't think they were happy at all once I gave them my special drink instead of water. Has, I, has everyone decided what they wanted to eat? What is it? Whoa! Why is my... Bro, did you pee in my cup? Yeah, I'll be honest. That looks crazy. What's what up, that? dude? What is that? Why is it orange? So, so have you guys decide what you guys want to order? Yes. Okay. I get one order of the... Can you say that word for me? You have to read it, sir. <laughs> Gurgling roundhouse beef stick. Yeah, that's that's one of my favorites. One of my specialty. yeah, specialty. Okay. So Thank what are you what are you going with? I'll go with the, the biscuits and sunshine. Ooh, that that yeah, one's yeah, really good. good. Yeah. And can I get the where did my egg go? The where did my egg go? Okay, good, good. Okay, I like it. And um, the special dessert automatically comes with it, and you're also charged for that. So. So we have to get it. Yes, it comes with it. How are you gonna force us to pay for something we don't want? Listen, it's my restaurant. I can do what I want. Wait, how much is the where did my egg go? Uh, that goes for about 150 dollars. Oh my god! Dang it! It goes for 150 dollars. <laughs>
Once I got their orders, it was time to go to the freezer, get the food, and start cooking the most delicious food they'll ever taste in their life. As I was cooking, I'm not gonna lie, the food was kind of looking really good, especially that gurgling roundhouse beef stick. So, uh, yeah, I took a bite of it, and it was not what I expected it to taste like. That is not good at all. Oh my gosh. I'm a little nervous. I really hope they enjoy the food. So, the food is here. What on earth? Who had the gurgling roundhouse beef stick? That would be me. Okay, here you go. Oh! Yo, someone bit into that. <laughs> Who had the word in my egg? <laughs> I heard the eggs. What is oh this? Oh my god. The biscuits and sunshine. Dude, it's not even coming off the plate. The other thing is one with the plate. <laughs> Gravity ain't even stopping that. <laughs> what is that? Is there syrup? Did you bite this? <laughs> oh Just, I hope god. you guys enjoy the food. Is this separate check or all together? Uh, I don't even know if I want to pay. I don't even know yeah. if I want to. I don't even know if I want to see the check. Yeah, we'll get no check, please. <laughs> well, you can't have no check. So how, come on. Where's your security? There's no security. Exactly. Sir, eat the food. I try my best. You're my brother. Come on. I'm done calling you, sir. Take a bite. I'm scared for you, man. <laughs> so what do you think? Not bad. Not bad. Okay. What would you rate it? Out of what? <laughs> Ten. Is there any lower I can go? Minnie, my no. my good old pal. Oh, my roommate. <clears throat> that stuff doesn't even move off the plate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, super glued this. Ooh. Mmm. Uh. No. Not good? It's alright. Alright, five star. So what do you guys so what do you think about this? Mmm. Yum, right? Yeah. It's good? Thank you. Guys, you know, since I appreciate my friends and family coming, I have Dessert um, on the way, okay? I decline. To go box, please. Yeah. <laughs> to go box? I'll, I'll get those boxes for you, all right? All right, guys, I got your to go boxes, and so. As I went to go get the dessert and the to-go boxes for them, when I came back, they were literally gone. My friends and family disappointed me yet again. I thought they'd come support me in my restaurant, but as usual, they left me alone, sad. And during this time, I looked back on the movie Ratatouille, and I realized they were wrong. Not anybody can cook.